little girl in here in Washington. But I wonder who that guy is got the first I'm just a bill. Yes, I'm only a bill. And I'm sitting here on top of the hill. Well, it's a long, long journey to the top of the city. It's a long, long week while I'm sitting in some But I know I'll be a law someday. I hope and pray that I will. But today I am still just a bill. Hey, Dad, you still have a lot of paper. Well, I got this far. When I started, I wasn't even a bill. I was just an idea. Some folks back home decided they wanted a law passed, so they called their local congressman, and he said, you're right, there ought to be a law. And he sat down and wrote me out and introduced me to Congress, and I became a bill. And I was in the bill until they decided to be a law. I'm just a bill. Yes, I'm only a bill. And I got as far as Capitol Hill. Well, now I'm stuck in the committee, and I'll sit here and wait for a Listen to those congressmen arguing. Is all that discussion and debate about you? Yeah, I'm one of the lucky ones. Most bills never even get this far. I hope they decide to report on me favorably, otherwise I may die. Die? Yeah, die. Oh, but it looks like I'm going to riot now. I go to the House of Representatives and they vote on me. But they vote, yes, what happened? And I go to the Senate and the whole thing starts all over again. Oh, no. Oh, yes. I'm just a bill. Yes, I'm only a bill. And if they vote for me on Capitol Hill, well, then I'm off to the White House where I'm waiting on. With a lot of other bills for the president to sign. And if he signs me, then I'll be alone. I hope and pray that he will. But today, I am still just a bill. You mean the whole Congress says you should be allowed the president can still say no? Yes, that's called a veto. If the president vetoes me, I'll go back to Congress and vote out of the by that time
are dumb. Do it again. Because with all that noise, there's no chance of jacking a horse up to anymore. You go get dumb, and I'll meet you downstairs. Okay. Scooby Dumb, where are you? Get the ball. 
I don't know about you, Pat, but I'm split. Mountaintop, they discover a very strange object, a giant metallic huge. I know what it is. It's a magnet. It can't be. These metal cans don't stick to it. Neither does my super friend Rick Sand made of steel. If it's not a magnet, what made the can fly up here? Woo! Oh, wow. It's no wonder they called it Mystery Mountain. Let's report this to the super friends. In the hall of the Justice League, the super friends listen attentively to the report of their junior members. It's pretty sweet time, and really weird looking. What does it look like? Well, uh, it looks like, uh, a goose. It looks like Batman. No! Like a letter U. Why don't we check it out then? We'll do, Robin. Kids, come with us in the back top door and show us this mystery mountain. Huh? Where is it? It was there a couple of hours ago. Honest. Oh. Are you sure this is the right mountain? Absolutely. Land in the back. We'll show you where we started our climb. Good idea. This is where we started out. There's something up there, all right. Robin and I will check it out. Hey, Wendy, don't we want to see it too? Okay, let's take the mountain trail. There's the you! Let's head for it! Something's pulling us! We're in trouble, are A top mystery mountain. The giant you is just a powerful electric force on a helpless bat top. Pulling you towards the mountain side. We're in devil trouble, Batman! Look up there! Wait, wait. In the sky, a huge meteor, attracted by the mighty magnet, plummets towards the helpless aircraft. Swing away from the meteor's path. What's that man? I'm fine, Chief Wonder. There's a little matter of a mountain in our path. I've got this incredible descent full power, but it won't stop. Listen, by instinct. As the magnetic force suddenly cuts off, 
against the back top, his powerful roller sends it plummeting toward the valley. Holy downfall! What happened? No more 994. Whoever turned off that magnet kept it from crashing into the mountain. Now it's up to us to keep from crashing into the valley. Hold on. That was close. What's he finding? I want to see what's up there. Wendy? Marvin? Wonder Dog, where are you? Look, Robin. Place footprint. I think our young friends got curious. Probably climbed the mountain. To see what they could see? They may see more than they can handle. We better go after them. Atop the mountain, the trap door is open, and now a crane rises to retrieve the treasure from the sky. A meteorite of solid gold. The mystery unfolds. Inside the mountain top, the underground laboratory of the brilliant scientist, Simeon Tamar. Carefully, he examines the meteorite with his equally brilliant lab technician, Madame Lila Labon. Gold, Madame Labon. Gold. gold. Your plan was genius. Trying to take out what earth is your special gold attraction method, then snapping the gold back with intensity from the laser beam. And things once again easy to came on you to bring the gold nuggets down to our mountain top. Dr. Yosef, before we do any more silence, I really believe we should have all this project more cautiously. More quickly? What harm can you do? My studies show only 50% of the space clouds in the program. I don't know yet what the other part of the job proposed us. Who cares about the guy who said it? All right, please. Keep it up and listen to the bus. What the big rest? Can't we rest for a while? <laughs> No time to play hide and seek. Oh, we thought you were a couple of owls. Will you settle for a couple of bats? Come on, let's get up to the top and get close to it. Oh, God! Oh, Jesus, that thing is better. What do you make of that? We saw the meteor land here. It's my guess it bounced off and rolled down the other side. The steep side. Maybe that meteorite can give us a clue as to what's going on up here. That's on production, Robin. Kids, you wait here. Robin and I are going to find out what's going on up here. Hold on, Hill. We're friends. Father, if it is not for you to save your life once, if you go on, nothing will save you again. Wait. Listen. Go away. Uh, they came at once. I believe the phrase was, our young saved your life once. Yeah. And they didn't seem to approve. The answer appears to be in that direction, Spock. I would say so, Captain. The instinctive reaction of all frightened creatures is to retreat to a place of safety. Heard of in our galaxy. Why should they be afraid of us? It is quite possible, Captain, that they find us in great tension. And many people fear being distant from themselves. 
Well, speculation is not out. We have to get in there. Perhaps there's a way open on the far side. There's much less activity there. For the ruling tribunal of the Act One, I am Doma, the High Tribune. I'm Captain Church of the Starship Enterprise. This is my first office in the spot. You are air breather enemies from the surface. We have expected spies for a long time. We came here in peace, Tribune. The ancient record warns that air breathers never come in peace. I said it. Why do the junior tribunes wish always to change the record? Let the mess be removed, but stand ready. The Virgo off was excellent. They have mutated perfectly. Your scientists induce these mutations. They do not wish to kill even air breathers. Your memory was eradicated so you could not return here. It was just there. His records are as well preserved as ours. They found the ticket. To come among us is five. We do not give any chance to defend themselves, Captain. Now. Rila is correct. You may speak. We are visitors to your planet. We come from another world. We do not live on the surface planet. Not on this world. Stop. Clearly, this is a lie. Their breathing has come again to destroy us! You are mistaken, sir. Our only purpose here is to find the means of reversing our mutation. That is impossible. Only Aqua mutation is designated by the Servo record. Enterprise, you must be What is it, Doctor? Sir, just gave us an update. We need to be There's a sequence doing that area. A bad one. It's completely possible. How soon? Within four hours. When is Jim Spock here to make contact? But can you contact him sooner? We can try that through later. Got out. His directional marker indicates they've descended for that first day. We must inform the Tribune. The name of our starship is on the Aqua Shuttle. If you want proof, examine the record. Yes. Let us examine the record before we make judgment. We have to move. I see them. See it. Three air breeders had a motor to see for you. We saw them as we got an edible. Do you still believe these creatures say me? We do not know what to believe. Take these spies to the surface boulders and leave them there. It is justice enough for our enemies. I will see you. Oh, it must be strong. Wait. I think we can find it. Did you see anything? No, I never. Wait a minute. Who are you? Your friends are fine. Your friends are Stand by on the start again, Lieutenant. Rila, this is my engineering officer, Mr. Scott. Tribune Rila is an aqua. Their city is a short distance away. We'd have liked for your help. Captain Rila is trying to contact you for two hours. There's a sea bottom quake to you. It'll destroy this whole area. There are legends of what's been happening. It destroyed the ancient knowledge and caused the great surface places to sink into the sea. That suggests your race evolved from its ancient enemies. We did not evolve, Mr. Fox. When the surface places began to sink, many air breeders and mutated to circle up, just as you were. As the centuries passed, the mutations became hereditary. Strange that such a highly developed race would be fired. Apparently, 
they were exposed to frightening geological disasters. That hardship induces savagery and violence. We feared they would contaminate us with our violence. That is also why it is forbidden to mutate back to silver form. Then reverse mutation is possible. There are legends of sealed places in the sunken ruins where many knowledge records of it are kept. There's not much time back in the quick view in less than two hours. How far are the ruins, Reva? Only a short distance. Though no record may hope it's easy to reverse in our mutation, we just to find them before it's too late. <laughs> It's important, Raven, not just for us. The population of another planet is threatened by surface change too. Argo's ancient knowledge can help save them. Yes. I will take you as far as the reef area.
the whole conversation to be allowed, the president can still say no? Yes, called a veto. The president vetoed me. I go back to Congress and vote on the by that time.
headless horseman rides out, searching for a head. Daddy thinks my big great grandfather is a bad friend. What happened to Ichabod? We don't know. Nobody in Sleepy Hollow ever saw him. on the upper left-hand corner of your paper. All of you who failed will remain off the clock. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. Those of you who got A's may leave early. Aren't you forgetting something? I don't think so. Your homework. Your book. Uh, that's often taken care of. 
that burning mind. Oh, uh, why don't you learn to talk to your nose? Wow! So you can keep your mouth shut. All oh, oh, this is over I sure don't see it all in the hall. Oh, cool. Now I got that place that's good, Carl. Homework! Oh, 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 Hi, Dad. Where you going with that book? Oh, We're all going to punch out here on this day, How come you never take no books home, Carmen? That's not my style. Hey, how about a little volleyball? Nah, we got to go home and do our drum assignment. Ah, uh, come on. I've got a new volleyball match. On the mountaintop, they discover a very strange object, a giant metallic huge. I know what it is. It's a magnet. Oh. Exactly. These metal fans don't stick to it. Yeah, they're 
fingers of my super friend wristband made of steel. But if it's not a magnet, what made the band fly up here? Woo! Oh, wow! It's no wonder they call this Mystery Mountain. Let's report this to the super friend. In the halls of Justice League, the Super Friends listen attentively to the report of their junior members. It's pretty sweet, huh? And really weird looking. What does it look like? Well, uh, it looks like, uh, a goose. It looks like Batman. No! It's straight like a letter U. Why don't we check it out, then? Will do, Robin. Kids, come on up in the back top door and show us this mystery mountain. was there a couple of hours ago. Honest. Are you sure this is the right mountain? Absolutely. Slam in the back. We'll show you where we started our fly. Good idea. This is where we started out. There's something up there, all right? Robin and I will check it out. Hey, Wendy. Don't we want to see it too? Okay, let's take the mountain trail. Holy alphabet! There's the U! Let's head for it. Something's pulling us. We're in trouble, are we? A top mystery mountain. The giant view is just a powerful magnetic force on a helpless bat copter. Pulling it towards the mountainside. We're in devil trouble, Batman. Look up there. Wait, wait. In the sky, a huge meteor, attracted by the mighty magnet, plummets towards a helpless aircraft. Swing away from the meteor's path. Wait, Batman. I'm fine, Chief Wonder. There's a little matter of a mountain in our path. I've got this as part of the event's full power, but it won't stop. Listen, by As the magnetic force suddenly cuts off, the bat cup is powerful motor sends it plummeting toward the valley. Holy cow, Paul! What happened? No more magnetic force. Whoever turned off that magnet kept it from crashing into the mountain. Now it's up to us to keep from crashing into the valley. Hold on. That was close. More to be fine. I want to see what's up there. Wendy? Marvin? Wonder Dog, where are you? Look, Robin. Great footprint. I think our young friend got curious. Probably climbed the mountain. To see what they could see? They may see more than they can handle. We'd better go after them. Atop the mountain, the trap door is open, and now a crane rises to retrieve the treasure from the sky. A meteorite of solid gold. The mystery unfolds. Inside the mountain top, the underground laboratory of the brilliant scientist, Simeon Tamar. Carefully, he examines the meteorite with his equally brilliant lab technician, Madame Lila Labon. Gold, Madame Labon. Some gold. Your plan was really trying to face out what earth is the special gold of Boston metal, then smelting the gold that is intensely from the laser beam. And these once again using the came on you to bring the gold nuggets down to our mountain top. Doctor your safe. Before we do any more assignments, I really believe this is a positive project more cautiously. More quickly? What form can My studies show only 50% of the space clouds in the project. I don't know yet what the other part is about the project. Who is the last guy to All right, please. He doesn't know what you're doing. What you doing, Can't we rest for a while? <laughs> Huh? <laughs> oh, there's a couple of hours. Those eyes are coming closer. Come on! 
no time to play hide and seek. Oh, we thought you were a couple of owls. Will you settle for a couple of bats? Come on, let's get up to the top and get close to it. What do you make of that? Saw the meteor land here. It's my guess it bounced off and rolled down the other side. The steep side. Maybe that meteorite can give us a clue as to what's going on. That's on the deck, Robin. Hey, you wait here. Robin and I are running back down. The reaction of all frightened creatures is to retreat to a place of safety. Unheard of in our galaxy. Why should they be afraid of us? It is quite possible, Captain, that they find us in great tense. And many people fear being different from themselves. Well, speculation is not help. We have to get in there. Perhaps there's a way open on the far side. There's much less activity there. For the ruling tribunal of the Act One, I am Doma, the High Tribune. I'm Captain Kirk of the Starship Enterprise. This is my first officer, Mr. Fox. You are air breather enemies from the surface. We have expected spies for a long time. We came here in peace, Tribune. The ancient record warns that air breathers never come in peace. They came to the Act One. Nothing without the records? Why do the junior tribunes wish always to change the records? Let the rest be removed, but stand ready. The Virgo op was excellent. They have mutated perfectly. Your scientists induce these mutations. They do not wish to kill even air breathers. Your memory was eradicated so you could not return here. Hmm. It was just there. The records are as well preserved as ours. They found the ticket. To come among us in five. They do not give any time to defend themselves, Admiral. Rila is correct. You may speak. We are visitors to your planet. We come from another world. You do not live on the surface planet? Not on this world. Stop! Clearly this is a lie! Their breathing has come again to destroy us! You are mistaken, sir. Our only purpose here is to find the means of reversing our mutation. That is impossible. Only aqua mutation is designated by the Sergo record. Enterprise, let's go. What is it, Doctor? This is just Davis, and I'm the green guy. There's a quick issue in that area. A bad one. It's completely possible. How soon? Within four hours. When I jump spot you to make contact. But can you contact them sooner? We can find that blue blazer. Got out. 
The directional marker indicates they descended for that first day. We must inform the Tribune. The name of our starship is on the Aqua Shuttle. If you want proof, examine the record. Yes. Let us examine the record before we make judgment. We have moved, I see you. This is Three air bridges have embedded the sea for you. We saw them as a lot of edible. Do you still believe these creatures say no? We do not know what to believe. Take these spies to the surface boulders and leave them there. It is justice enough for our enemies. As the centuries passed, the mutations became hereditary. Strange that such a highly developed witness would be fired. Apparently, they were exposed to frightening geological disasters. That hardship induced these savagery and violence. They feared they were contaminated with their violence. That is also why they're forbidden to mutate back to the form. Then reverse mutation is possible. There are legends of sealed places in the sunken ruins where many knowledge records of it are kept. There's not much time, Captain Laquit. You in less than two hours. How far are the ruins, Rila? Only a short distance. Though no record may hope it seems to reverse in our mutation, we've got to find them before it's too late. Oh, I can't see the ruins. It is against our dangers. It's important, Rila, not just for us. The population of another planet is threatened by surface danger too. Argo's ancient knowledge can help save them. Yes. I will take you as far as the reef area.